Hey, Norm, it's Marte Lacanto. Happy New Year to you. Yes, I have a quick rundown on the uh, national and local stories uh, from 2015 in Seattle. Go ahead. We have the first year that the $15 an hour minimum wage goes into effect. We had the uh, traditional May Day melee between protesters and police where concussion grenades were used and a Seattle Times reporter was burned uh, with concussion grenades. We had the re-election of our socialist city council member, uh, Shama Sawant, who was accused of being an international figure, and for some reason that was a criticism that her opponent used against her during the campaign. We had the year where the dream of Seattle actually died, Norm. This is kind of sad. Even though I had a great year in Seattle, I, I'm writing for the Seattle Star now and the Capitol Times and got this other independent network up and off the ground but in Seattle, it's no longer affordable to live here unless you have a very well-paying job. The rents are going through the roof. The uh, lack of affordable housing has led to a civil emergency declared by Martin Luther King Jr. County and the city of Seattle because of the state of homelessness. It's gone up 23% this year. Uh, we have the usual issues with police accountability. The Seattle Police Department having been investigated by the Justice Department a couple of years ago and they found the practice and policy of the use of excessive force. Uh, we had Black Lives Matters protests on Black Friday. We then during the tree lighting ceremony at Westlake Mall. So that was a very uh, tense situation, but everything went okay and it didn't turn violent. There were some arrests. Uh, we had a statewide anti-tax initiative that was passed by the uh, neocon Initiative Huckster, um, Tim Iman, the paid initiative campaigner. So once again, the uh, Seattle, or excuse me, the uh, Washington State Legislature have to get three quarters vote, 75% vote, and, uh, yay, in order to pass any new revenue, which has led to a situation where the state Supreme Court is the, uh, leg- state legislature for contempt of court for violating the state constitution by not adequately funding public education. The state Supreme state- Court? Yes, even the uh, superintendent of public instruction in Washington State says that our levy, school district levy system to raise money for public education is unconstitutional according to our own Washington State Constitution, right. so Mark, which requires adequate funding for public education. But I thank you very much for the year-end review. And by the way, uh, when you're talking about affordable housing and homelessness in Seattle, dude, that is a huge national issue all over this nation. And the cities are heavily democratic, and the cities had better figure out how to make themselves more livable. And I'm not just naming the big cities. All cities have got to figure out this whole affordable housing and homelessness issue, and they better get to it because this problem, as Mark indicated, is huge. Senior legal analyst time continues in 20 minutes with Justice to Serve. The Norman Show. Let me say this as a politician. Norman. There is internet streaming. There is app streaming. Tune in is huge for us. Our own app is huge for us. We have podcasting at normangoldman.com. This is the Norman Goldman Show. I thought that was disgusting. He's obviously a very emotional person. 